What's going on, Nerd Nation? This is Sleeve Card signing in and welcoming you guys to episode three of our Ultra Moon Z Lock right here on the channel. If you guys missed last episode, we finally got to meet our rival. We got into our first battles, caught our first Pokemon, and the link to that episode, if you want to check it out, is down below in the description. But in today's episode, we are heading forward back into Iki Town, uh, taking on. The festival? The festival challenge? Something like that. Now, I did do a little bit of grinding, as you saw in the beginning of the episode, just because I'm a little wary of the team and what we have upcoming, especially considering we only have Pennywise right now on the team. 
And speaking of team, let's go ahead and take a look and see where everything sits after that grinding montage. So I did get Pennywise up to level eight, uh, and I feel like that's a good portion or a good balance because I don't want to over level, but on the same token, I know that the next rifle battle that we're going to have at the festival, or at least uh, how it is in Sun and Moon, is how rocking out with a Pichu. So we are we will be at a type disadvantage. Um, so I, I leveled it up, hopefully to negate the type disadvantage, but not over leveled where we're just mowing through everything. Uh, but we also learned a brand new move. So Pennywise is now rocking out with Pound, Water Gun, Growl, and Disarming Voice. Not yet Stab, but it is a useful kind of move to have. Now we also have Grubbin, as you guys can see in the party. We have Chompers the Grubbin in the party, not in the team though, because we don't have the Buginium Z. Now I took out all the trainers uh, and I stopped right here because as you guys can kind of see out there on the horizon, there are some shady looking people. So I definitely stopped here before we kick off a story cutscene, something like that. Let's see what we got. Me measuring the aura readings here, the numbers appear to be a bit high. What do you think, Captain? Oh, that was the female. <laughs> hmm? What was that? Did you say something? I was... Well, I was certainly not distracted by this foolish display of festivity. So, there are aura readings in this place. Perhaps it may be the effects of that one they call the Island Kahuna. But everything is so bright here in Alola. Why is he just like, this is his pose? <laughs> Far brighter than we had been told it would be. I find it loathsome, this awful brightness. Even though the light we have sought for so long? Yes, I suppose you are right. We must carry out our investigations to return the light to our own world as well. The light to our... Oh. Before the blinding one can awaken. I don't know why. The guy... What's it like? His name's like Dulce Dulamice or something like that. But uh, he... I don't know why. The guy... He reminds me of like if Tron and Don Quixote kind of like fuse together. Um, I have no idea. It's, it's just weird to me. You. You are not native to Alola either, are you? You seem to have come from far away. And that's it. We need to save the light. Oh, you're new here too. Well, bye. Okay. I feel like there was more to that. Like when I played, so when I played through Ultra Sun initially, back in November, I feel like there was more going on there, but I guess not. So festivals in full swing. Kids are frolicking. The Alola region is made up of four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokemon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to these great Pokemon guardian deities for always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There are not many, there not, there may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. Okay. Now I did heal up, the other thing you guys probably noticed in my montage is I did stop to heal up Poplio, only because I wasn't sure if we were going to get a chance to heal and I didn't want to go in to this kind of shenanigans with a weakened uh, Pennywise. Oh, I for oh, I was going to say I forgot what voice I gave him, but I, I remember now. Hey, how's it Sleeve? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Litton have been waiting for ages. Hold on. Didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Phew. It's gonna be 50 different voices. 
A full-fledged festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, yeah? Pitting our best moves against one another in friendly competition to please our guardian. Woo! So you two will be taking part in the battle? I don't s like seeing Pokemon fight one another since they so often end up getting hurt. But I'll be sure to watch you both. Your Pokemon have fight for you. I fought for you, so show them the same care in return, Sleeve. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Oh, so he does heal them. But he also kind of, like, chastised us. Like, they fought for us make sure we take care of them. Yeah, I know. That's why I stopped to heal. You jackass. For all life on our islands. And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts. We pray for your protection, for them and all Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our guardian island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you stands How, grandson to the Kahuna. <sighs> how, 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 how? Yeah, let's have fun with this, Litten. And before him stands Sleeve, one who has met with Tapu Koko. Yeah! Woo, 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 woo. What? What? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha 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 ha. That's just typical of it. Pablio, take care of my little sleeve. As long as, as long as we both have a good time, then I think we can call it a great battle. Eh? 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 Sleeve, how? Bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Alright, so like I said, I'm a little wary. I think he has an 8 and a 6. Now, I didn't look it up, um... Because, I, like, like I said on episode 1, I kind of want to go in blind to portions of this. So anything I forget, then it makes a bit more of a challenge. But I do remember his Pichu, and then obviously he'll have Litten. Okay, so Pichu is 6, uh, and Litten... I said, I think Litten's level 8. So... Okay, I don't want to go Water Gun. Growl... He's not going to physically attack us, because at this point he'll have Charm, Thundershock, Tail Whip, and... I think that's it. So here's the thing. So Pichu... I know Pichu has, like, just garbage defenses. Physical defense, I think, is base 15. Like, we're super low. Uh, the special defense is higher, so I would want to use Pound, but Pichu also has Static. So I'm going to go with Disarming Voice, because I don't want to risk activating Static, and then that comes back to bite us if we're paralyzed. So I did about half. Uh, let's do Thunder... Okay, so we ate that Thundershock up, so we don't have to worry about Thundershock just yet. And of course, we do have a potion that we picked up along the way, if we need it. Ooh. Yeah, we're still good, because even if he crits us, we're good. Um, let's go for one more Disarming Voice to take out Pichu. And then Litten. As long as we outspeed Litten, we should be fine, because we have Water Gun. And we're at level 9, so that's going to be a big bonus as well. Of course, it boosts our physical attack that we're not going to use. We use Litten. Uh, we can't swap. It asks us who we want to swap because we have Grubbin in the party, but we cannot swap. Oh, he's only level 7. I don't know why. I was thinking it was 8 and 6. But I guess it is just 6 and 7. He still outspeeds us. But that's fine because Poplio is slow. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we should be good. We can go for another Water Gun. The Scratch did not do that much damage. Okay. So there goes Litten. Uh, not enough to take us to a next level, but, you know, halfway. Hopefully, I'm hoping that we pick up at least one normal type here, either this episode next episode, but sometime early. That way, Pennywise doesn't get over-leveled, because especially in these games, it's very easy to get over-leveled very fast. That was awesome, Sleeve. 
That was really a great battle. I had a blast fighting you. It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Coco. Coco! Ho ho! You heard it yourself. Tapu Coco's song of approval. Oh, I nearly forgot. I think it is time you take this leave. Oh. For a second, I didn't realize he slipped it on. I thought he went like this and just snatched it out of his hand. Like, ha! That's mine! Alright, so we've got the... Z bracelet. Obviously, it's useless to us because we don't have any Z crystals yet. Uh, let's see. Draws out the power. Bring out the Z power. We kahunas can make Z power rings using stones like the sparkling stone that you'd receive from Tapu Koko. Though you'll need to undergo this island challenge and collect Z crystals for yourself if you wish to draw forth a Pokemon's power. And yet, you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you. Or perhaps it has a mission for you. So here's a preponderance for you. So if you take the sparkling stone and that's what you make into Z crystals, and Homeboy took our sparkling stone and said he'd give it back to us, why don't we have a Z crystal? Like, he gave us the bracelet, now give me the Z crystal that uh, I handed to you. That came to me as a gift from Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko chose us to have that Z crystal. Not you, buddy. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. The island challenge. Every island. Well, let's do the island. The island challenge. Four islands. You'll travel to each of the four islands here in Alola region. The island challenge is about aiming to be the strongest trainer. The island challenge trainer. Woo! I'm challenge champion, not trainer. Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. But, but I'll bet I'll let Kahuna Hala explain the rules. The island challenge Kakui spoke of. It is a journey to overcome your own limitations as you travel the far corners of Lola and meet with others along the path. It is the great adventure that children in the Alola region embark upon along with their Pokemon once they reach the age of 11. Allow me to give you both the island challenge amulets. Awesome, thanks. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna make it through the island challenge to become an island challenge champion. This is one for you as well, Sleeve. Please do give the island challenge a try. Alright, so he gave us a, a bracelet and a little bangle. So we got a bracelet, our key ring all set up. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, doing the island challenge is the best way to really get to know Alola. Oh. Tapu Coco is amazing, isn't it? I hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. <laughs> Pew! Me too, or oh yeah. Oh yeah! You know, Sleeve, it did save your life too. And it even gifted you that sparkling stone, even though you're a stranger to this place. Suppose it's time we get to heading home, kids. Yeah, who da ba da ba 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 ba. I'm so out of it so far this episode. Just I'm stumbling all over my words. Please forgive me, guys. Nebby, Alola is full of all kinds of wonders, isn't it? It's like I'm suffering from a uh, massive cotton mouth all of a sudden. Captain, I was able to detect high levels of aura at this full-powered festival. I, su I suppose you would. According to our earlier research, it seems that the Z power ring and this Tapu Koko creature are bathed in a great deal of light. Alola overflows with the light that was released by the blinding one. I find myself rather envious. I wonder if we can find some way to use the great powers that fill Alola for ourselves. That is precisely what we, the Ultra Recon Squad, are here to make clear. Onward. There is still much. That's what the voice was. There is still much of Alola we have not seen. We must investigate it all. Back home. Alright, let's see. Oh, they're home. Oh, Sleeve. 
you're back already. I thought you'd want to stay in Iki Town a bit longer. Blah, 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 blah. Especially right after that great Pokemon battle. Oh, I was just captivated to see my own boy fighting in such perfect sync with his partner. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try that island challenge thing. It's something you can only do in Alola, right? But right now I've got a date with my bed. I dance my feet off at that festival. Nighty night, sweetie. You get some sleep too. Alright, so we're gonna rest up. The next day. I think we're at like four days into our life now. The next day. Ah, yeah. Ooh, what beautiful weather. Wonder what today will bring me. Oh my god. This guy will not stop with his door business. Oh, it's not Kakui. Alright. Didn't kick through the door. What a gentleman. Oh, because it's Lily. Oh, um, the professor said... Hey there, Lily. Bring me that great new Pokemon trainer. Woo! So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab if you'll come with me. It's, um, this way. Oh. Here's a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Oh, well done, Sleeve. You're already making new friends, aren't you? What a cute little friend you found. I knew Alola would be a great place for us. We just keep meeting wonderful new people. M me? Well, well, thank you. My name's Lily, and it's very nice to meet you. Looks like it's you finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourselves out there with Poplio, and don't be gone too long. Even Meow says hurry up. You have a very nice mother, don't you? We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. So far, I mean, I'm liking the, the lock so far. The one thing I wish was different is that we could get into the actual storyline a thousand times faster. Because it's like, we're on the third episode now. We really haven't started the story. We're still like... Meet this, meet that, move that, do this. This is Nebby. Oh, this is Cosmog, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just so much, like... Just get me into what I, what I need to be doing here. Cosmog seems to be very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. Pew! It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge? Please? Oh, Sleeve, do you want to know something neat? You can reach the Pokemon Research Lab without having to go through any patches of tall grass if you jump down from this ledge. Just like this! Hee up! If you'd like to take a shortcut, I suggest you try it too. I'll be waiting. I'll be heading to the lab now, so see you there! Okay, so. I'm just gonna check something. Is this a separate area, or is this considered part of Route 1? Please don't wander off. Okay. So, I have no idea if this is Route 1 or if this is... Because I know this is Howley Outskirts, but is this part of Route 1 or not part of Route 1? Um, you know what? I'm going to hop down the ledge. We'll go straight to the professor's house. You guys let me know in the comments if you consider it part of Route 1 or not. If you do consider it part of Route 1, we won't catch anything here. Uh, well... If I encounter something, here's what I'll do. If I encounter something, I will catch it, or try to catch it. And then it'll be up to you guys if it lives or dies, uh, if it's part of Route 1 or not part of Route 1. If it is part of Route 1, we can't use it. We'll just get rid of it. If it's not part of Route 1, maybe we have a new member on the team, and I'll just kind of go from there. Oh yeah, Rockruff. Let's go. Give it everything you've got. My body is ready. Woo! Ah. Uh. There they go again. 
The Pokemon Research Lab has its own unique charm, as I think you might agree. It's actually been um, imposing on the professor for the past three months. I'm not much of an assistant, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. Maybe I'd be more help if I were a real Pokemon trainer, too. Hey, hustling and bustling in there. They got, like, UFC underground fighting going on? The professor... He never stops researching moves, not even inside the lab itself. Looks like we'll have to patch the roof again. And I had just washed his lab coat and finally gotten it clean too. Now it'll be in shreds! I'm no good at mending clothes, so he'll just have to buy another new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. Alright, so he's got Snubble, Stuffle, a Rock Ruff, a Corsola, uh -huh, a Lola Mola, oh no, Love Disc. Why did I say a Lola Mola? That's a Love Disc. Hey there, Sleeve. Thanks for getting him for me, Lily. Of course, however I can, oh, of course, however I can be a help. I am supposed to be your assistant, right? Rockruff's moves were just so styling, and I was making good progress with my research. Say, Sleeve, let me see your Pokédex for a second, yeah? Dun 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 dun. So what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? Not bad. But that's not why I called you here, eh? Eh, finally it arrived! It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do all the talking. See, here, here's this Pokemon inside your Pokédex called Rotom. What? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. It's a peculiar Pokemon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take up residence in some machines. Yeah, buddy! I'm gonna assume that this is uh, Professor Kakui because I don't see Lily saying yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. And to put that crazy skill of Rotom's to work, it's the next generation of Pokédexes. But it's the only complete once Rotom has gone into this body specially developed for it. A whole new way for Pokémon and or for people and Pokémon to communicate. Woo! And there's only a few of these beauties out in the world so far. And now, if I power up your Pokédex with the parts I just got in. Hey now! Sorry about that, Rotom. Guess I surprised you! Bzzz. Rotom! Here, boy. I powered up your favorite decks. Give Sleeve here a helping hand, yeah? Bzzz. Hey there! Pleasure to meet you! Blah da blah! Check it out, Sleeve! Now Rotom can talk right to you! It may take a little while to get used to its new job, but I'd say Rotom's taken a liking to you! And this will help how exactly? Sleeve hasn't been here in Alola too long yet, so I decided to give him this special Rotom Dex to help him navigate around! Thank you very much. You can see where you're headed just by looking at Rotom, and if you give it a little tap. He can even look at the town map. If you give him a little tap, you can look at the town map. Alola! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Wahoo! Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. You see, if you see a Pokemon or a person or a person or a Pokemon who need help, you just help them. Right, Sleeve? How? And that's why I'm letting Lily stay up there in the loft. So, Sleeve, I'm leaving this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom! You look after sleeve, yeah? That's so that's a Rotom Dex, eh? 
He is kind of cute. <laughs> All right then, sleep. You too, how? Get to move on. Okay. Anything? I'm just. Oh my god. I'm not gonna read through all that. I'm just gonna keep rolling because I need. We need to get into the story, guys. This is killing me here. Island challenge. Blah blah blah. Okay. So basically, the gist here is we need to get to the Pokemon Trainer School. Uh, Lily's gonna be accompanying us, but we need to get to the Pokemon Trainer School. But before we do that, I'm gonna swing up this way. Oh my goodness. Ah, blah blah blah. Whoa, what's going on? Everything has fallen into darkness. What? <laughs> Nebby, don't worry, it's okay. This must be what they call a lunar eclipse. It happens when the moon gets covered up. Was a lunar eclipse forecast for today? Ah, oh, well, it must be some kind of good omen, yeah? Okay, so... Anyways, we gotta get up to the trainer school, but before we do that, I am gonna take on these two tra these two trainers, and uh, we're gonna catch we're gonna catch a Pokemon and just see if it's something usable. Oh, there's a couple trainers here. Okay, there's one trainer. Let me do this. Let's see what the wild Pokemon is. If it's something, oh, it's an Inkay. Oh, I like that. Okay, I like Inkay. Obviously, we can't use it right away, but I like Inkay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just go for the water gun. Uh, okay, like I said, we'll catch this. We're gonna drop it in the Pokemon Center. And then... It's up to you guys if this is legal, not legal, or whatnot. If it is legal, obviously it just stays in the box until we get... Uh, the Darkinium or it's the Psychalium. I forget which which one this one technically is. Um, but either way, either way, uh, like I'm not afraid or I'm not uh, I'm not against using Ink. So let's go for the capture. So we did catch it, um, like I said, this is up to you guys, so let me know down in the comments what you feel uh, about Inkay's legality. And I'm gonna avoid these trainers because I want to get another Pokemon for us to use, and if, if we can't, if we can do that, if we can do that, uh, this will be a nice spot to kind of come back and, and grind them up to get them back on par with us. When exchanging information with others of its kind, it flashes the light emitting spots on his body in a complex rhythm. All right, now we do need to give Inke a nickname. So we are gonna name him. I actually know one. Uh, this is one that was suggested. Uh, we're gonna nickname him Turvy. I'm not even gonna look it up because I know I know that was suggested to us, and I know that it's a, a decent one. For this Pokemon, at least. What was our other option? What else could we have had? Oh, Wingle? Ooh. I'd rather have... Even though Wingle we could use faster, I would definitely rather have the Inkay. So there is no harm, no foul in that. I just want to get this item. Let's grab this item, and then let's get to the Pokemon Center. And then I'm probably gonna stop. I'm probably gonna save this episode. Um, and just because I don't want them to run too long, I usually want to keep my episodes like 25, maybe 40 minutes is like a heavy, heavy end if we're in the middle of something. But this way we can save the episode, and then that means next episode we'll be into the trainer school. Uh, which I know there's some battling and there's some stuff to do around there, so Hopefully we can get into the trainer school get there is another encounter We can also get in the trainer school, but I don't believe any of them are normal You okay? I'm okay. All right Let me show you the Pokemon Center follow me
If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to full health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand to see Pokemon in pain. You can also deposit Pokemon in the PC here or take them out. At the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that would help you during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. Would you? Over there's the cafe area. Okay. So the next place we have to go is the trainer school. But let's heal up, and I'm going to deposit the two Pokemon that we can't use right now. So Chompers and Turvy. Gotta go into the box. You know, it's a simple way to look at this. Let's see. Let's see what it says as far as their catch location. Route 1. Oh, see, they both say Route 1. Okay. I'm still gonna leave it up to you guys. Even though they both say Route 1, I'm still gonna leave it up to you guys just because. Uh, I believe that it changes. So I do believe that the, the top-down changes, and I know for some people that's the differentiator. So I will leave it up to you guys. I'm putting it down below, though, so it's up to you. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about NK for, like, the fifth time I've asked you to do this. Um, but with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and save today's episode right here. Next episode, you guys, we are going to be heading into the trainer school, getting some battles in, getting a couple useful items, I believe. I, I do think we get some items. We will be getting another encounter, at least one more encounter, at the trainer school. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. If you like today's episode and are excited and want to show some support, hit that thumbs up button for me down below. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already done so. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. This is Sleep Card signing out. Have yourselves a beautiful day. And of course, I will see you later.